<laughs> Hello, Mother. Hello, dear. This is <laughs> Eugenie Seuss. She is my mother. She is the original Ever Ever Over Lady. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and of course, my sister Penrin is the. She is the um, producer for Evan Dove Headquarters which is our recording studio. Obviously, we are very low budget, as we are filming in the arms of Zemnis here. Very soft. Very. Very. He has a magnificent bone structure. Anyway, we will be reading a story written by one of Akuma Inziru's dear, dear friends, who prefers to remain anonymous, so we will refer to her as Tara Gilesby. The story is called My Immortal. I really can't blame her for wanting to stay anonymous. <laughs> well, apparently Akuma thinks it's a masterpiece. She wants it to go even more viral than it already is, apparently. So we how, will... how, how, have, you, have you seen this crap? It's, it's covered in virus. It's, 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 I think you'd catch something if you touched it. Well, then it's a good thing it's just on the computer screen. <clears throat> anyway, we will be taking turns reading it. Whenever one of us buffs up or starts laughing, the other one will take over. <coughs> and, um... I'm going to try not to stress Mother's voice out too much. <laughs> Evil overladying takes a lot of fucking energy. Don't look at us like that. Okay, anyway. It's very tough on the vocal cords. Chapter 1. Anne! Special <laughs> My turn! <laughs> Special thanks, get it? Because I'm gothic. Ch two. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my. Yeah, to, see, to my gif. Ew, not that way. Fucking homophobe. Raven, bloody tears. Six 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 four, helping me with the story and spelling. Huh? She did a terrible job. <laughs> what spelling? Plus, you know, I, I I almost expect to you know like get to the bottom of this chapter and see plus spelling. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm behind on my drinking, mother. <laughs> <laughs> See. Ooh, rock! Justin earned a lot of my depression life. Ooh, rock too! MCR rocks! It, it, it stands for My Chemical Romance. I'm aware of this. Oh, uh, was I supposed to go. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know! You're the one reading the story! Alright. Mm, <laughs> um, that, this is a lot less pornographic than I was expecting given that header. Um, just saying. Um. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness, Dementia Raven Way. And I have long, ebony black hair. That is how I got my name. With purple streaks and red tips. That reaches my mid... Actually, it does. Yes. My mid-back and icy blue eyes that are totally not hazel. Uh, like limpid tears and a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Open print. And... <laughs> If you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. Close paren. <clears throat> I'm not related to, to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie and, you know, I love to bang my relatives. <laughs> I'm gonna sit <laughs> over here. Um, <coughs> okay. <laughs> okay, my turn. My turn. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry, Mother. You're doing a great job. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin as opposed to, you know, saturated white. 
I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England. It's fucking Scotland. It's in fucking Scotland. Where I'm in the seventh year because I'm seventeen. Mama Jama's got to go down seventeen. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I'm also a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. Accurate. I love Hot Topic. What the fuck is Hot Topic? And I buy all my clothes from there. Well, okay, Mother does, apparently. <laughs> she likes shopping in America. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around As opposed it. to non-matching lace? It's black! There are different shades of black, but moving okay. on. Well, yes, but, but presumably if it's part of the same corset, why wouldn't it be, this, why wouldn't it be matching? It's one article of clothing. Have you seen Corey's designing? Okay, point taken. And a black leather mini skirt. Does pink. that is it the same shade of black though? We don't know. Damn it! Pink fishnets, you bitch. And black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation. If her skin's already white, why does she need to wear a foundation? Seriously, black eyeliner and red eye shadow. I was. A walking fashion disaster. Yes, I was walking <laughs> outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining because fuck you weather. So but wouldn't that be sleet? Don't poke holes in my logic. Oh, oh God! You've been possessed by Akuma. <laughs> True. So there was no sun, which I was very happy about. Cause you know, otherwise you'd burn up. A lot of preps stared at me. I put up my middle finger at them. And also the rest of you. <laughs> yes. Hey, Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was... Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco, I asked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn. Yes, it is. Nothing. He said shyly, but then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. Woohoo! I, I, I think I left the oven on. Okay, and we also switch at the beginning of each chapter. Uh, okay. Sorry. Ex and <laughs> is it good? Please, please tell me things. Okay. Chapter two, period. Anne Colin, Fangs, Zigbar, Bloody Tear Z, Zexion, 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 Vexen, helping me with Da Chata. BTW, preps, stop flaming my story! Arc exclamation point. Many X's, followed by triplet Zexions, followed by more X's than Mother has buried in. I'm sorry, Mother. I, 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 I. I, I, I like to bury cans of alphabet soup in the backyard. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Very well. It's it's good for the... Um, and it's brand X. Yes. It's brand X. Okay. The next day, I woke up in my bedroom. What a surprise. I know. It was snowing and raining again. It's It's like... I don't know. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had and strangely it wasn't congealed. My coffin was black ebony and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. Of the velvet? That doesn't seem like it would work and that actually sounds really itchy. I got out of my coffin and took of my giant MCR t-shirt which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. Um, but what about your school uniform? What's a uniform? Don't confuse me with your logic. Oh, oh crap. We're going to have to exercise that, that, it is, it, oh, oh my. Okay. You, 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 you've been showing signs of possession by an Izuru. Fuck my life. I put on four <laughs> pairs of earrings in my pierced ears. As opposed to non-pierced ears, because that would be... Fucking painful. 
and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. Only kind of messy. Yes, because I'm special and sparkly like that. My friend Willow, Anne, Raven, this is ooh, <laughs> woke up then and grinned at me. She flipped her long, waist-length raven black hair with pink streaks. It kills me that I actually used to have that hairstyle. And opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini fishnets and pointy high heel boots. <clears throat> Be because, you know, I love to hate my ankles. Yes. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. What happened to the red eyeshadow? Fuck if I know. I think this is, a, this is the next day, apparently. Oh. Yes. OMFG, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah, so, I said, blushing. Do you like Draco, she asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the great hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. Yeah, right, she exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi, he said. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely smoking Nefabelli's weed. Hi, I replied flirtily. Guess what, he said. What, I asked. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade. Fantastic, what? how the hell are they getting there? He told me. Yes. <clears throat> oh, my fucking God. No offense, Jefferoth. I screamed. <laughs> I love GC. I like Gunner Creek Court too. It's a great webcomic. It is. They're my favorite band besides MCR. I can't think of any webcomics that have those initials. Well, drum roll. Do you want to go out with me, he asked. Ah, uh, there was no out. Shit. Don't worry, it's the end of the chapter anyway. But, I gasped. <laughs> okay. Chapter three. And <laughs> stop. Flamin' the story preps, okay? She spelled flaming right the first time. <laughs> Otherwise, fangs, fangs? She missed the Z. <laughs> fangs, Zigbart, are the gothic people? Vexen, the good reviews. Fangs, Agen, Raven. Oh yeah, Batois. <laughs> I... Don't own this or the lyrics. Vexen, good sh Sherlock. She spelled that right the first time too. I call true. X. Well, it is a friend of Akuma, so you know. Yeah. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Is it, is it bad? I initially read that at, as she put on her black face. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and... What the hell is corset stuff? I don't even fucking know. Maybe maybe it was little crisscrossing laces that had going like from here. And why didn't she just say that? <laughs> Descriptions. She fails at them. Clearly. See, on the back and front. I put a matching fishnet on my arm. Matching what? Match <laughs> what? what does, does it match the red ripped fishnets? Does it match all the black stuff? I'm assuming that it actually matched her raven black hair and blue eyes like limpid tears. No, raven. No, ebony. Ebony, ebony. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, but still. I see. Her my, black bloody hair. <laughs> okay. Let's see, on my arms, I straighten my hair and make it it'll look all spiky. Oh my god, it's Sora. No, it's Benitas. Uh, it's Benitas. Fabulous. <laughs> I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my... Oh, you... What the hell? This... This makes me angry. Am 
I doing it wrong? Yes. Yes, dear. Okay. <laughs> I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding and I listened to some Gunner Creek core. <laughs> Brilliant. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Why? I, I imagine her eyelids must have felt very heavy after that. How does she walk around when she has... When... when bah! <laughs> <laughs> um, does she have literally tons of, of eyeliner? That would How be really I heavy. <laughs> yes, yes it would. I don't know, I remember I, I actually sent a rogue to steal all of her black eyeliner. It took five days and four <laughs> nights and they came back <laughs> with at least seven trucks. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh. See, now, now I'm just imagining like a giant cube, like a giant truck size cube <laughs> of eyeliner attached to each of her eyes. <laughs> I'm imagining it shaped like a truck with you all called it. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Then I put on some black lipstick. I did I put foundation because I was pale I didn't anyway. put on foundation. Did I, what did I say? You said I didn't put foundation. <laughs> does, does that mean I failed? Yes. Oh, okay. I drank some human blood, so I was ready to go to the concert! Because, you know, the blood they sell at the concert, it's all made of rats and squirrels and raccoons, and it's just not as tasty! And it's from Concentrate! Oh! <gasps> what?! <laughs> I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He why, doesn't have a, why does he have a flying why car? Why would he have a an enchanted muggle invention? He was wearing a simple plan t shirt. They would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. And a lot for QL. Boys were it uh, Parenthesis, period. Close paren. Yes, whatever. Hi, Draco! Exclamation point, I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony, he said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666. You I don't say! I, 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 skeptical, Eugenie is skeptical. And flew to the place with the concert. That's really descriptive. Please be more vague. <laughs> On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. Wow, so edgy. I'm pretty sure that Akuma's dear friend was smoking Nefabelli's for weed when he or she wrote this. I'm not really sure. Um, when we got there, we both hopped out of the car. <laughs> doing a doing a doing a doing. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. Wow. You, I don't know the song, so reciting lyrics. You come in cold, you're covered in blood, they're all so happy you've arrived, the doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mum, and then slaps her in the face because you're so bad ugly, um, she sets you free into this life, saying Joel, I don't own da lyrics, Zigbar dat song. You don't say... Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, Pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Wait, pointing? No, the, the way that's written, the, she, was she casting that, like, microphone charm by pointing at him? Or was, you know... Was, microphonious! 
What was he not previously filling the club with his amazing voice? He made me spill some of my blood. Oh, oops. I hate you. Suddenly, Draco looked sad. <laughs> Uh, that, that doesn't count, because I started laughing first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's wrong? I asked as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay, I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? Asked Draco sensitively. And he put his arm around me, all protective. <clears throat> Napa belly's weed. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. I fucking hate that little bitch, I said disgustedly. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> alright. Right. <laughs> he decided to do the part after the period. Thinking of her ugly blonde face. <laughs> it's really not fair. <laughs> She's just some unfortunate Disney brat. <laughs> oh, look at her face. Was she like cousin it? Her ugly blonde face. You 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 know you 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 know. Cousin it was actually my nickname at middle school. Oh. Well, cousin it isn't ugly, but he had a blonde face. No, he was brunette. He was. Yeah. But in the Adams family values. Oh. No? I, 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 I was sorry he was brunette. Okay, well, anyway, you're awesome, but when someone says ugly blonde face, I imagine someone with their face covered with ugly hair. I, I, I imagine in, in the, the world where this makes sense, Hilary Duff has very extensive <laughs> facial hair. Um, has a very full beard. <laughs> Acne everywhere, unwanted facial hair. <laughs> I'm a relation to Frankenstein's creation. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. Mm. After the concert, we what cares? We drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got good Creek Court concert tees. <laughs> That's amazing. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into... <laughs> the Forbidden Forest! OMG, WTF, BBQ, BCR, THC, GHB, Flavor Trouser Pam! 